Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about how to install a virtual environment on a Ubuntu server. Virtual environment is a great tool that allows you to segregate various projects that you're working on and install packages that are specific to those projects without disrupting the rest of your system. It allows you to have multiple versions of various different packages installed and it maintains a distinct segregation between those projects. So to begin, I have a test virtual machine set up here running Ubuntu server and I'm going to walk through the steps of installing virtual environment. So first we're going to do sudo app get install python dash virtual env. Now I've already installed virtual environment on this system but if you haven't you will notice that Ubuntu will run through the installation and it'll print out the message when it's finished. If you get the message saying that it's already installed in the newest version, then you're good to go. So now we're going to do is create a folder to house our virtual environment. So we're going to cd the home directory, and we're going to make a directory called test. And then I'm going to cd into that directory. Now, if we do virtual env, and then we can create anything we want here. I'm just going to call it virtual underscore env, actually we'll call it virtual env underscore test. And you'll notice that Python goes through and it creates this virtual environment. Well, once that command is finished running, we need to activate this environment. So what we're going to do is type source Actually, first, let's do a listing here. All right, so now let's do source virtual environment test slash bin slash activity. And you'll notice immediately that in parentheses ahead of your username on your system, you see parentheses virtual environment underscore test and parentheses. This indicates that you are currently working within your virtual environment. You can install packages perform upgrades, anything you need to do within this environment, and everything that you do will be maintained right inside of this environment itself. Once you're finished, you can type deactivate, and you'll be removed from the virtual environment. That's everything that there is to know about setting up virtual environment on a Ubuntu server. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and work on any of your projects and then deactivate. You can also set up multiple projects and switch between them. It's a very easy and great way to segregate the projects that you're working on. So thanks for watching and